So I'm going to start off. Um, we're going to uh, you're going to give a, a sort of an introduction, a, sort of a five minute brain dump um, of to sort of bring you up to speed. And what we we had a conversation uh, a week or two ago talking about how we would do this. And I think the best thing is to just assume that everybody, although there may be scientists, uh, tabula rasa, blank slate, and start off with sort of a primer of you know what are we talking about today? Making drugs. A new way. So 120 years ago, Paul Ehrlich taught the world how to make drugs. He said you begin by finding a drug target, and you screen molecules to find what he called magic bullets. In the last 120 years, the pharmaceutical industry has been doing it that way ever since. Find the molecular target that is at the heart of the disease problem, and find a molecule or a drug to hit the target, to change the target's function, and cure or ameliorate the disease. And this has been a, this has been a fabulous uh, strategy for a trillion dollar industry, and it has enabled the cure of many diseases and the amelioration of others. But they're not magic bullets, and they have side effects. And so despite the precision with which pharmaceutical approaches today and molecular biology approaches today can make highly precise molecules, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you take a precise molecule and you swallow it, or you inject it and it goes everywhere. And you can have off-target side effects or metabolic um, side effects of the metabolism of these drugs. And so in thinking about this as a neurosurgeon who studied inflammation for 30 years, my colleagues and I came up with an alternative approach, which is to use the body's own nervous system to make the drugs. And in this model, one thinks of a cell or a molecular target and thinks of a way, rather than finding a molecule to control that target, you find a neurotransmitter mechanism or a neuroscience mechanism to control that target. We don't think about it much, but every cell in your body, every cell in your body is close to a nerve ending. And those nerve endings have the power to change and manipulate how those cells and those molecular targets function. Can you just say what a neurotransmitter is? A neurotransmitter is the chemical released at the end of the nerve near the cell. So the electrical, the electricity, the action potentials travel down the nerve and dump the neurotransmitter next to the cell that you want to treat, or the cell that's under, under control. So my colleagues and I, as the first effort to enable this idea, chose a molecule called TNF. TNF is a drug target you see advertised every Sunday afternoon if you watch football or golf. It's the molecule that Phil Mickelson talks about. It's a $50 billion drug target, 5% of the world pharmaceutical industry and growing. And so we mapped a nerve circuit that starts from the brain stem, crosses the nerves of your neck, down to your abdomen, into your spleen, and followed a path where action potentials go along these nerves and, and end in the spleen, where the neurotransmitter, the first neurotransmitter is norepinephrine is released in the spleen, which activates a specific T cell to make a second neurotransmitter called acetylcholine, which floats along and bumps into the cells that make the TNF and turns them off. And let me just stop here. So TNF stands for tissue tumor or, or tumor, uh, tumor necrosis factor, and it's inflammatory. It's a, it's, a, it's a powerful molecule that drives inflammation. So today, people take TNF inhibitors for rheumatoid arthritis and inflammatory bowel disease. So with this idea, my colleagues and I, a company I co-founded called Setpoint, did a clinical trial in Europe, and we implanted a nerve stimulator in the neck of patients. We implanted a large one, but coming, coming down the path, they'll be like this, the size of the fish oil capsule. Some of you swallowed this morning, hopefully. Um, and this, this sits in the neck on the nerve to drive the signal that turns off the TNF. And we put some people in remission. Um, the lay press has picked up on this, the New York Times and others, and it's getting very exciting in the last year. The scientific paper is being reviewed now. There are some scientists here. If one of you is reviewing the paper, <laughs> I'll buy you lunch. <laughs> I'll buy you drinks. Whatever you need. Uh, see me after this. Um, we hope that this will be a big scientific uh, report coming out in the next few months. The opportunity is not some sort of future um, jets and cars flying around thing. It's now. The opportunity is now. And what, <coughs> and what we need to do is map these circuits because it's a scalable and, 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 and extendable approach. Pick your target, find your nerve, then make your device. And this, this approach to bioelectronic medicine is a big idea that's 